Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And on today's episode, we've got another cheap one from our dear old friends at Aston Manor Brewery. Seriously, how many different types of ciders are these guys going to produce? But it's another canned one as well. For today's cider is Crofter's Apple Cider. Um... I've only seen this in a couple of stores and, well, I'll get into a little bit more detail when I come to actually tasting it and everything, but, um, well, let's just say that this is one of the cheapest ciders I have ever bought, but will it match the taste? Well, we'll find out shortly, but until then, let's go and get some details on Crofter's Apple Cider. Crofter's apple cider comes in 440ml cans, which I do believe is the only way you can get it as well. The alcohol percentage is 5% in volume, so pretty standard cider strength we have here. Um, doesn't say anywhere on the can if it's going to be sweet or dry tasting. And the price, well, I'll leave the uh, maths for a little bit later on, but you can get four cans for £2.15. So if you work that out, that is actually really, really cheap. But, will it match the taste? We'll find out shortly. Well, as you probably heard in that description, yes, this is extremely cheap. In fact, if you do the maths, each can cost me 53 pence each. Which, well, actually, that does make it the cheapest cider I have ever reviewed on this show. Um, so... My initial hopes aren't too high for this one, mainly because of how cheap it is and the fact that it is indeed from the old boys at Aston Manor Brewery, the leaders of mediocre tasting ciders. Um, the, even the design, again, yellow and black, which usually says steer clear of things, doesn't it? So, um, but again, typical design on the front, you see old apple silhouettes and stuff, and oh look, the O's got a little leaf on it. Ah, oh, it's like an apple. Isn't that clever? Um, on the can it says a lightly sparkling cider made using a unique blend of apples. Serve chilled for ultimate refreshment. Um, yeah, pretty generic message there. But also, haha, <laughs> cider containing sugar, sweeteners and sulfites to, pres <laughs> to preserve freshness and maintain the perfect taste. Yes, I don't think you're going to get a perfect taste when you've added sugars and sweeteners into it, guys. Um, and also, it only comes in 440ml cans, which, um, you know, they couldn't even be bothered to put it into a 500ml one. Although, if it tastes like rubbish, then you're not going to want to drink any more of it, are you? Okay, let's not waste any more time and get this can cracked open and see what it tastes like. Well, actually, let's see what it smells like first. Let's get a whiff. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, um, initial thoughts aren't good. You're hit with like a sort of a sickly, syrupy te um, smell. But there's something distinctly off about it as well. It's kind of, it's trying to go for a bittersweet smell, but it's almost as if they've waited about a couple of years to actually... Um, produced the smell and it's kind of fermented a little bit and it's gone a bit well not very nice so uh, yeah that's not one uh, that's not making me want to actually try any of this but seeing as I'm reviewing it I'm gonna have to aren't I so uh oh well let's go and whack this in the glass because there's gonna be <laughs> well I highly doubt there's gonna be any natural sediment in this thing if there is I will be very very surprised so here we go crofters apple cider um as you can see, it does actually um, look lightly sparkling. Uh, there you go, you can get just about the colour there. But, um, yeah, from where I'm looking, it looks a bit like a sample. <laughs> um, I hope it's not going to taste like a sample, but, yeah. I don't know, it's got a slight greeny hue to it. I don't think it's supposed to... Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to look like that, do you? Anyway, let's get a whiff in the glass, see if it smells any better. Um, yeah, you're getting a little bit of, um, yeah, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of, uh, uh, sweetness, but there's hardly any, like, distinctive apple notes that I'm getting off the nose. Overall, it just smells completely artificial and, well, generic, you know, hopefully I'm not going to say that too much, but I reckon I will do. 
Oh well, let's go dive in, shall we? I'm not expecting much from this, so my hopes won't be dwindled too much if it tastes like rubbish. Cheers, guys, and here's to, uh, well, Crofter's Apple Cider. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, no, that's awful. That is terrible. Ugh. Good God. What the hell have they put into this drink? Um, that doesn't taste like cider. It, in fact, it doesn't really taste of much at all, and what it does taste of, it tastes like crap. Um, ugh, let's get a second opinion straight away, see if I can actually get any tastes from it. Ugh. It's got a really, a really eggy taste to it, where they've crammed it so full of sulfites that it just completely destroys any flavours that this cider might have actually had. Um, coupled together with it being incredibly sweet as well, there is a slight bitterness, but I mean, that's probably just due to all the sulfites that they've put into it. It started out okay. It had a sort of a caramel, um, in this caramelly sort of initial taste, but that very, very quickly went away and was just replaced with this awful, musty, as I said, this musty, eggy, off taste. There's no apple in this at all. I mean, <laughs> they might as well just strip the apple um, bit out of this cider because there is none of that at all. Overall, this tastes like crap. It's really, really thick in the mouth as well. Kind of almost um, got a real syrupy consistency to it. It's um, really, really hard to drink. <laughs> um, I don't think I really want to drink any more of this, but uh, well, I'm going to have to when I get to the final verdict. But um, as I said, I didn't have too many high hopes for this cider, and well, I'm glad I didn't because it's not very good. I'm not going to beat around the bush, actually. Let's get a final taste before the final verdict and wrap this up. Oh. Ugh. Yeah, it's just one of the most artificially tasting ciders I've actually um, tried on this show. It, it tastes chemically. It tastes off. I don't know how they've done that, because sulfites are supposed to preserve freshness, and I've checked the date, it's well in date. Um, it, it's got that awful, awful taste that you get when they've added too many sulfites into it. I mean, I know some people do like that, but I mean, they're going so, you know, sulfite overboard with this cider, believe me. Um, the only saving grace that I can actually give for this drink is the fact that it is totally dirt cheap, and that's not with the offer price, that is the full price that you pay for it, 53 pence per can. But you know what? Even for that price, I would recommend totally avoiding this drink at all costs. So once again, Aston Manor live up to their reputation of uh, producing not very good drinks. So for that, Crofter's Apple Cider gets a 2 out of 10. It's not quite the worst tasting cider I have had, but my god, it comes very, very close. Um, yeah, steer clear of this. In fact, I might even go so far as to say this is going to be a sink job. I don't think I'm going to be able to drink any more of that. It's, it's just awful. It really is. Um, well, that was another episode of the Cider Drinker for you guys. I hope you liked it. Because, well, I didn't really like it at all. Um, so until next time, I will be back with another hopefully delicious and better tasting cider than the one that I've just had. But until then, I am going to go and tip this drink down the sink. Because it doesn't taste good at all. Oh, Esther Manor, when will you learn? Take care, guys. Until next time.